Great match though. I enjoyed that one. 1-1 one, one now. Just the right combination of, uh, of technical exchanges, uh, drama, you know. <laughs> all the recipes for success. The under three, under 83 kilograms right now. And we got Shamil Shikshabekov. This is his first appearance tonight. He, uh, he didn't compete in Team Nurmagomedov's first, first go-through against Universal Fighters earlier. Well, he's gonna have his hands full. Isaac, one of the most dominant performances of the first round. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna see Isaac test his wrestling against somebody from Tazakhstan. I really think I believe we, will. we will. I believe we will. Isaac, Michelle. Isaac had absolutely no problem going head to head with the veteran back at Hosher ABCZ, just like you mentioned earlier. And uh, I kind of, I have a, a fear that Isaac wants to make a statement. He's like, my wrestling is that good, I can hang. I can hang and I can beat these guys. The best guys in the world come from Dagestan. I want to out wrestle them. And Michelle is the kind of guy who's got just the right size chip on his shoulder to come out here and do it. Yeah, lovely guy, really softly spoken. Very, very relaxed, very chill guy. Real, he's your typical Aussie surfer guy, do you know what I'm saying? However, fierce competitor, Shamil Shikshabekov against Isaac Michel, Team Nerd Magomedov against Team Modolfo. Dagestan versus Australia in this one. Round one. Let's Here go. Here we go. I'm excited about this one. And they tie up right away. Isaac puts the collar tie on. Oh, yeah, they're going to wrestle. You're right. I mean, I just think that in the last, like, kind of year and a half, really, I guess it was the ADCC camp and the preparation for that. Oh, I, oh, I was going to I eat my words. I was going to say I was convinced that Isaac was never going to pull guard again. But <laughs> he literally pulls it as I was saying it. <laughs> Less than 30 seconds into the match. So don't listen to what I say. <laughs> Scoop grip from Sheik Chobekov. Trying to weave the legs, but Isaac doing a good job, not letting his knees get pushed together. I'll be honest, it has been a while since I've seen Isaac Pulgard and kind of play this kind of game. I mean, it's gotta be a strategic choice for him. Feels like the win is more important than making the statement probably for sure for sure you got to think about the team it's why he's here right no real threats of the past so far from shamil shishkebek shishabekov yeah i think shamil is in feeling out mode as well he kind of wants to know what he's dealing with here he's got an australian black belt in front of him a guy that he's probably Googled him. He's probably seen his ADCC matches or match. I'm sure, absolutely sure that Shamil is like, okay, this guy's a jujitsu guy, but I want to feel it out first. Points. And the points are in. Here, Dante Leon in the corner of Isaac, and he's just said the points are on, mix in some wrestle ups. And that's absolutely one of the specialties of Isaac Michelle. But he's got to, he's got to wrestle up against a man representing Khabib Nurmagomedov yeah. and his MMA team, so not exactly the, the best time to try that part of your game. Isaac's guard really under no threat. Though. No, no, none Shamil at all. Shamil really not showing any signs that he's going to be able to pass this. He's, I'll be honest, he's not even going forward. He's not trying to pass. You know, he's he's playing grips. The brief moment that you saw him change position, he just went around slightly, but he, he wasn't really even going through or forward. Yeah, it's, it looks, uh, looks like he wants to use that weave. Oh, look at this. Looks like he wants to use that weave to try to set up a body lock pass if he can convince mm. Isaac to sort of push him away with the legs, he'll have access to the body. Oh, 
little Six dummy sweep four, attempt. Yeah. Leg and, drag, uh, nothing, nothing going with that leg drag. Shishabekov's not, not even, don't see him like looking to drop back for a leg lock. You don't, don't really see him doing much of anything. It looks like he's busy, but there's no pressure there. There's no danger for Isaac. It doesn't feel like it anyway. Hey, there's a lot of, lot of skill in looking like you're getting something going. Right. And I'm not calling him out for stalling. I, I, no. I'm sure he's feeling him out. He's not trying to hang on and do nothing. You don't win a match by doing nothing, but... You also don't win a match by not passing somebody's guard. Got to be careful. Oh, kick across the face there as Isaac tries to create some space. Here's an entry. It's pretty good for Isaac right here. Look at this. Weaving through now. Oh, he's he's put it. He's got oh, the leg all the way through. Oh, he's gonna, almost got his guard passed right there, but ends up making the really nice entry into the leg on the other side off of it. That was pretty close, man. Yeah, there was a brief moment there. I thought that that Samil was gonna land in top. Like, Isaac weaving through, creating the leg entanglement. Shishkovakov is, is looking pretty solid in this position. Does, doesn't look like his knee is coming off the mat at all. Insane, from here, right? Insane base, right? Yeah. It's Isaac's got a great spot to try to create an off balance, but he has just not been able to budge him. It's like a tree down by the water. Man, I'm jealous of that kind of base. Like, that some guys are just rooted into the mat like that, right? Well, first period ends 0-0. Zero, zero. That's a draw. Okay, interesting, interesting first round. Yeah. I wonder if we'll see Isaac come out and pull guard again. And let's be honest, we did not see enough of, uh, of Shamil in that round to kind of really say, okay, here's where he's dangerous. So if we didn't see it, I don't think Isaac saw it either, right? I agree. I wonder if he felt the danger of the game, the, the takedown game from Shamil. Because you know, sometimes you put your hands on somebody and you're like, oh. This is not this is not the plan that I need in my yeah. life right now. Like if I shoot, I'm running into a brick wall kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's Dante Leon and Mo Jassen offering some counsel between matches. And there is Team Nurmagomedov. Like you got you got four guys in that corner all coaching Shamil Shishabekov here. And Dante making admonition to the referee. He's like, I want to see, I want to see some stalling warnings. Um, I agree with him. I agree with him. I think that we should, we should see a little more action from uh, from man on top in in a situation like that. I think, I think we're going to see Isaac test out his wrestling a little bit this round. There he goes, already, in. already. I, man, I'm, I'm impressed even getting an underhook like that. That's, uh, that's, that's. Pretty tough. And th now this is classic Isaac wrestling. Look at that. Oh, look. Yeah. He's gonna get the two off of that. That that is classic Isaac Michelle wrestling. He's pulling away and pulling down on that head. And then you know he's got that beautiful, he calls it like meat hooks. He puts the two hooks over with his hands and kind of throws them and kind of jumps, cuts an angle, and where are the points though? Interesting. I, I think there's I actually think they're gonna say it was a guard pull. Well, the discussion are still over there? figuring it out. They they're trying to work out. Did he pull? They gave wow, him there it is. It's two. Okay. So Isaac did get did get the takedown. Yeah, they put it into the the negative column for just a moment. It confused me. <laughs> they, they fixed it pretty quick. But yeah, that they they had a man. There was like five judges here on that side talking about that. They were trying to work out was it a pull or was it a takedown. You know, and I actually like that the, they took their the time. Team, the team Mur Murmagomedov coach in, in the corner. He is like, what up? What's up with that? He he thought it was a pull. Man, he's actually going to walk over here and talk to the judges. <laughs> yeah, the, the Dagestanis have been uh, active over here at the scoring table all. Yeah, we, 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 have a, we have a very perplexed Dagestani coach just walk over to the judges' table and be like, check out this position Isaac has. That's, that's a pry bar right there. Right 
Dante very vocal in the corner, yelling out instructions for Isaac. Okay, yeah, Isaac changes his grip immediately as they say points, meaning that he was kind of making sure that yeah. he was holding his opponent down before he wanted to kind of score. But Shamil threatening oh. to come up on a single leg and Isaac counters early with the Kimura and he's gonna need to hang on to this to stop from getting swept. Isaac's got like a, he had an inside hook. It's kind of passed across now. He doesn't have the leg 33 for the half guard. Shamil got to be really careful here. You don't want to just power out of this Kimura and try to pull out. That's what creates a sweeping opportunity. Isaac throwing his hips up high. I know Are we going to see another rear triangle? triangle? Oh, angle Sankaku. Oh, that's nice. That's nice work from Isaac Michel. Multiple threats right here. He's gone back to kind of more of a Juji entry, but I think we could see the armbar right here. There it is. There it is. Yeah, oh, there it is. The oh, wow. Isaac Michel. Submission, second round, three minutes in. Wow, that was clinical. Powerful arm lock, Kimura trap. And you know, we you often see the Kimura trap as a counter to the single leg, and Isaac snatched.